Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskar from Laravel Daily and YouTube channel Laravel Business and today I have a package review for you. Sweet Alert is pretty popular JavaScript library to, well, alert about something and it got pretty popular in backend solutions as well. So there's a package to use Sweet Alert in Laravel 5. And it's pretty popular already, so 250 stars and the popularity, the reason of that I think it's simplicity. So you don't have to do any npm commands or install anything on the front end. It's all done in Laravel. So let's try it out and see what happens. We go to documentation and uh, in installation I've done that already. So composer require, I've done that. Configuration, uh, since I'm using Laravel 5.8 I don't need to register anything anywhere. And then we need to include it uh, in the view. And this is my demo project uh, based on our quick admin panel, as I always often do. Uh, just cities crud. So create, read, update, and delete. And what we will do here is add a sweet alert success message after new city is uh, added. Uh, so we'll be add new city. We will just enter some city. And after that, it redirects to the index. And then we will add alert there. Instead of doing like message on top somewhere or like div alert, we will use alert this. So where do we add this in your master layout? In my case, uh, we go to PHP Storm. This is the index blade of my cities list where I actually have to add it. And it extends layouts admin. So we go to layouts admin. And there are quite a few JavaScript things here, again generated by our quick admin panel, and we need to add this one somewhere. So I guess it's somewhere in the JavaScript section as a separate script thing, so something like that. And by the way, what I've done also is published, so this thing, vendor publish, this command, uh, copied two files into my public folders, not public, but uh, publicly available. So this is the resource file. So this is actually what is being uh, included here. So include sweet alert alert. So actually including this one. So script and then fire the <coughs> the swall. Uh, and then this one vendor sweet alert sweet alert all js is also published in here. So public vendor it's not the vendor folder don't mix those. So it's public vendor so it's publicly available. So we don't load anything from CDN or elsewhere you load the GS from your local machine. So this is done now. Uh, it's included. And next, how do we use that? Let's go through documentation. Mm, use the facade. Okay. We will copy that into our controller. So cities controller is a typical CRUD based controller. Again, generated. Uh, so we use this one, save it. And then in controller method, we use alert success. Okay. Alert success. For example, here, let's try to do it in any case. So technically we should load if session message success, then we load alert, but let's try it out if it works at all. So alert success without changing anything and we will build on top of that. So cities list, do we have alert? Yes, we have success title and success message and we can click anywhere to dismiss it. So that works. Now let's customize it. It's not exactly customization. So when do we actually need that to to show the success message? In store here, so storing the 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 city, we should uh, redirect to route with something. So with success message in our case, with success message, for example, uh, successfully added. Success fully added. And that with success message becomes uh, flashed, it's called flash session message, which is uh, checked like this. If session success message, then we load it. So with success message is camel case, and this is snake case, it becomes snake, snake case, and it's valid only for one page load. So that's why it's flashed. Uh, so if you load session again, this will be false. And actually, let's change that success message to this. So success, and then we load actually the message. Let's try it out. So if we load the page again, it shouldn't come up because there's no session. But if we add any city, 
like for example Manchester we save it and we should see the alert but again if we reload the page we shouldn't see it because the session is flashed and second time it doesn't appear okay so this is our next step we actually include this one now how do we make sure that this is loaded on any controller in any um, it's not only city the same logic should appear everywhere so uh, if we redirect with success message from any controller any store or update or delete method we just load this and it should appear right so this should be probably done elsewhere somewhere in base controller or base class so somewhere here it extends controller let's click it in php storm uh, and where there's no method to add it globally uh, what is a global method for any controller or any class actually it's function construct so we have a constructor and technically we should do this so copy here and load it here but and of course alert sorry so this copy from the particular controller cities to here but that wouldn't work because from Laravel 5.3 <coughs> there's no session in uh, construct methods. There's no session, there's no authentication, so you won't be able to use auth something, auth user. But there is a trick to that. You can uh, use middleware. So I think if I'm not mistaken by uh, syntax, so this middleware, and then you pass a function, callback function, with request, I think it is, and next. And then inside of that function, you do have session. So you copy that here, and then return, request, I think it's next. That's the syntax, I think. Yeah, uh, this is the middleware, and now it should work. Let's double check that, and let's try it out. So again, we load the cities. The alert shouldn't appear. Function name must be a string. Oh, sorry, probably request next. Okay. Break key exists. Okay, anyway, I will dive into the article that shows me next request, of course. <laughs> I tried to load that from memory, but I failed. Uh, that's the beauty of live coding, so I did Check that from the article by Joseph Silber. Kudos to him. So this middleware, function request next. Yeah, everything else should be okay. Okay, we get back to the page. There should be no errors anymore, but no alert. And we add the city, like, I don't know, Moscow. And alert appeared. And if we look here, it's not here. And then final thing what we can do here is uh, uh, customize that with success message to be taken from the translations or to whatever config so successfully added should be a configurable, configurable uh, message. So I will take it from translations. So to underscore function and I have a file, call, a file called global. I'll show it. And let's call that successfully added All right so if you want to change that key somewhere uh, at, at some point you can do that so global PHP is a file in my resources lang folder and actually I have that already so data saved successfully this will be the key and let's try that again <coughs> let's try that again add a city uh, my hometown Vilnius from Lithuania and it is here data saved successfully so this text is actually taken from from translation files now and if we change that to for example this um, some city running out of memory <laughs> cities uh, data saved successfully you see explanation mark is here already so this was a quick tutorial and also review of the package, how you can easily add Sweet Alert uh, into your Laravel project without touching any JavaScript or any front-end. You just uh, do some composer require commands, some magic in controller, and then move that into global stuff with help of middleware and translations. 
I hope it was helpful. Uh, please subscribe to this channel Laravel Business or hit that bell button that you would be notified of new videos. See you in the next videos.